Hey golfers, in this next video I'm going to show you how to fix early release golf swing. Stay tuned. Hey it's Troy from HittingItSolid.com here, thanks for watching. So we're talking about the how to fix the early release golf swing. So this is a common one that I see. So what does early release actually look like? So if I'm set up here, early release is typically also known as casting. When I'm making a, a downswing, that shaft is extending very early. So if I've got this nice angle in the backswing created like this, in your downswing as you come down, lose that angle really quickly, the right arm will straighten and the club gets to the impact in this sort of scoopy sort of lifting motion like that. And ideally what I'd like to see you do is when you come through the impact, have that nice angle retain, shaft parallel to the ground when it gets somewhere near that lead thigh and through to impact in that sort of position there. So early releasing will cost you distance and consistency. So if you've been told that's what you're doing, maybe you've looked at yourself on camera and you've identified, yep, I'm early releasing. What can you do to fix it? Well, the number one reason, there's a few and I will cover them, but number one reason why most golfers early release is due to an open club face. And this predominantly starts in the takeaway and just doesn't get any better or doesn't get fixed throughout the golf swing. So this is my target down this way here. If I make a takeaway, and the very first thing I do in my takeaway is roll my wrists open like that. You see my glove logo is to the sky. If I roll it very early, or hands go out, club goes in, very common. Got an open club face, you go to the top. As you come down, our brains are really smart. The first thing you want to do is square that club face. You'll push that arm out like this to get that club face square. It's a human reaction. Once that face is open, you need to square it at impact. If you don't square it, what's going to happen, if you were to come down in a great position here, the face is pointing way right, and you're just going to push it way out to the right. So the early release is in an effort to square that club face. So it's important to identify and fix the root cause of the problem and most of the time it is an open club face. So let's look at some ways we can fix this and get you hitting the ball much straighter and much further. All right, let's look at some ways we can fix this early release golf swing. Now, it doesn't matter what handicap you're on or skill level, you can fix this. I've seen it done hundreds of times, just takes a little bit of practice and you can get rid of that early release, no problem at all. So I mentioned in the takeaway, first thing that you can do, now this is assuming you've got a pretty neutral, decent sort of grip. If you've got two wicked grip, that's something you'd want to address. But if you've got a decent grip, first thing I'd like you to do is, as you start your takeaway, feel like you get this little logo of your glove pointing out towards the ball, that general direction there. We don't want it pointing up towards the sky because that'll get that face wide open. So as you make your takeaway, feel like that glove logo is pointing down in that direction of the ball as we go to the top. Still pointing sort of roughly out that way somewhere. We don't want it to the sky. Then as we come down, Still pointing out this way, we've got that face square and we can come through to impact like that. We want to avoid that glove logo pointing upwards and then having to flip down there to square the club face. So that's a great little practice thing you can do, just do rehearsals, keeping that glove logo pointing out this direction here. Now the other two things that I touched on earlier that could be contributing to your early release could be a lack of pressure shift. That's the first one. So if you're someone that goes to the top of your backswing here and you keep all your weight here and you swing something like that, there's a very good chance you're early releasing. It's next to impossible if you leave your weight here to get any sort of forward shaft lean and hit the golf ball. Naturally that right arm is going to straighten 
and you're going to be in that lifting sort of motion there. So really important that you shift pressure into the right side, shift it into the left. That'll help you with your early release as well. And the last one, which is super common, is early extending, early extension or standing up in the downswing. So if you're someone that sets up to a shot like this, as you make your swing, and as you come down, you stand taller, right arm will naturally straighten because you're further away from the golf ball. You have to extend the arm, early release, or you'll cast it and flip the golf ball. So really important, as you come down, push the, those hips and that pelvis back. And that way you can maintain those wrist angles and stop early releasing. So that's some more great ways you can get rid of that early release. Now, important, coming up I've got a simple drill you can practice. Regardless of your current ability, you can practice anywhere. Get rid of that early release with a simple drill. It's coming up. All right, here's one of my favorite drills for getting rid of an early release. It actually fixes a number of things in the golf swing, but let's focus on that early release today. And again, doesn't matter what handicap or current level you're at, this will help you out no end. So jump out of your chair, grab a club, grab an alignment rod. If you don't have one of these, you can do it with another golf club. Now, what I want you to do is put them side by side and have at least about a foot coming out the end of the butt of the club there. Now what you're going to do, it's set up, grip them together, have this alignment rod just sitting on your left, on your left ribs here, in front of that left hip. Now the idea is, you're gonna make golf swings, and we don't want this alignment rod hitting your body at any stage if you're doing it correctly. So if we make a good back swing, if we shift our weight, keep the club face square and we rotate, that alignment stick won't hit you. But if you early release something like this, you see that alignment stick will poke you right in the side of your body and be quite painful. So we can do nice, slow little swings at home. By all means, once you practice this a lot at home, build yourself up to hitting short shots at the driving range. It will be really beneficial for you. Rotate through. Another angle here from down the line. Really good drill, has a number of great benefits. We'll fix up that early release for you super quick. Now important, coming up I've got an additional video. Now this talks about how to rotate your hips in the downswing, which goes hand in hand with this video to help you make an even better downswing. Make sure you watch it, it's coming up. Do you wanna know how to make an even better golf swing? Click and watch the video on your screen now. It's going to go into more detail about how to rotate your hips in the downswing, which complements this video really well. The two of them go hand in hand to help you make a better golf swing. Do you want to know how to play even better golf? Consider subscribing to the channel. And remember, if you have any questions or comments, please let me know. I will get back to you. Thanks for watching. See you next time.